हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 24 एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ टिपिकल गियर बॉक्स ऑफ अ विंड टरबाइन सो दिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट लुक दैट वी यूजुअली सी इन अ विंड टरबाइन एंड दिस इज हब एंड हब इज कनेक्टेड to these blades and this overall part is called the uh, rotor these are the uh, rotor blades and the part that is hidden behind these uh, blades this blade this usually consist of a gear box a typical gear box in a wind turbine has usually three stages with the first one known as planetary gear box which is coupled by the two more uh, gear stages which are namely the intermediate and the high speed the first one or the uh, Uh, planetary uh, stage is the low speed shaft stage the rotor in low speed stage turns the low speed shaft at the rotations of about 30 to 60 revolutions per minute because the wind speed increases with height the taller towers enable turbine to capture more kinetic energy that the wind carries and thus it is capable of generating more electricity wind direction an upwind turbine is so called because it operates when the wind is facing the blades a typical modern wind turbine will start to generate electricity when the wind speed reaches from 6 to 9 miles per hour and this speed wind speed is known as the cut in speed the wind turbines usually shut down if the wind is blowing too hard for example roughly at 55 miles an hour this mechanism is to uh, ensure that the windmill or wind turbine equipment is prevented from being damaged at high speed winds now let us discuss about the intermediate shaft the intermediate shaft is located between the high and low speed shafts and it is supported by the intermediate speed uh, stage bearing which are located on the front and the rear sides of the shaft approximately over here and here these bearings may be damaged as uh, those for a high speed stage uh, bearings like uh, i mentioned uh, previously the inspection method of high speed stage uh, bearings are effective for the intermediate speed stage bearings too however this inspection may be uh, more difficult because it is necessary to insert an endoscope beyond the high speed shaft to ensure the smooth entry of the endoscope it can be inserted through a semi flex guide tube now the last stage or the high speed uh, shaft this is what uh, is directly connected to the generator so the high speed uh, uh, shaft stage this uh, is directly connected to the generator and it 
drives the generator. A tip now, uh, this is a uh, example uh, for a uh, windmill that is connected to grid, uh, grid connection point and it is done uh, via uh, the induction generator for economy uh, economical purposes and for uh, the reasons of reliability many of the wind power turbines use induction motors as generator which are driven through mechanical gearboxes to increase the speed of the rotation performance and efficiency the mechanism of the gearbox was shown in the previous slide however induction generators required reactive power usually uh, provided by the uh, shunt uh, capacitors in the individual wind turbines induction machines are also known as asynchronous machines that is uh, they uh, rotate below synchronous uh, speed when uh, used as a motor and above the synchronous speed uh, when they are being used uh, for uh, as a purpose of generator so when rotor rotated fast then faster than its uh, normal operating or no load speed and induction generated uh, generator uh, is capable of producing uh, ac electricity because an induction generator synchronizes directly with the main utility grid that is produced electricity at the same frequency and voltage no rectifiers or inverters are uh, required for this uh, purpose however the induction generator may provide the necessary power directly to the main main utility grid but it needs reactive power to its uh, supply which is provided by the utility grid stand alone off grid operation of the induction generator is also possible but the disadvantage here is that the generator requires additional capacitors which must be connected to its winding for the self excitation so this is an example in which the wind direction of upwind and downwind is demonstrated and this whole part is called the neckle 